Okay guys, here it is, almost fully dry. Unfortunately, um, on camera it looks a lot more yellow than what this is. Hoping, hoping that uh, in, indoors it will look a lot better when I um, take a picture. But uh, all I can say is I'm really happy with the end result. It really doesn't do it justice. Um, it really does look a lot yellower and a lot more like tan here but I can guarantee you that this is a nice vivid bright green whereas these turned uh, a nice range of green the darker shades of gray are a nice range of green I really don't know why it doesn't show as well on camera so uh, let me just talk you through the process I put more than half a bottle of white wine vinegar so like at least half a liter of white wine vinegar three generous handfuls of rock salt and uh, a little over one and a half bottles of Rit dye probably like one two thirds of a bottle of Rit dye because what I really wanted to do is kind of give it a nice quick dip you know didn't want to soak it in there too long as so as to kind of turn everything too green you know I really wanted the contrast you know from the white uh, from the white parts of the camouflage to turn to a really bright green and you know provide that kind of contrast which you know I can say is um, it, it you know it turned out well it really did turn out well uh, compared to this pouch now you definitely see this pouch looks like on camera like coyote turned out to be more like a coyote uh, kind of color coyote brown but it's actually more again this is actually somewhere between uh, greenish and a yellow like a vivid yellow shows a little better here but it's still not as bright as it is uh, in real life and it turned all the straps a nice green you know a nice range of green color color before it was just that ugly grayness so uh, I'm really happy with this too because I actually needed that to be more of a yellow tone rather than a green tone uh, because this is um, this is gonna go on one of my uh, Molly 2 rucks and other than that uh, what else did I dye? Obviously the Molly 2 components I dyed one of these forget what they're called what is this? Is it focus? Modular light reload carrying equipment, holster extender. I recycled the strap out of it and this I'm going to use on my Philby Ruck. Just weave it on the side so I have something to potentially carry an axe with or a firearm. If, you know, should you choose something like that, it's going to be available on the pack. And, uh, okay, the suspension system, again, matches pretty nicely the pack. I was actually afraid of the hip belt because um, dyeing it, it turned far darker than everything else. You can tell a little bit on the contrast here, but on ca again, on camera it doesn't do it justice because um, this is actually, both of these are a lot brighter green and uh, once this dried out, this is almost fully dried out, you can still tell the contrast, whereas when it was wet, it was just all one solid, almost looking like one solid green color, which I didn't want. I still wanted to retain the, um, you know, the kind of disruptive pattern feel of camouflage, you know, have that contrast of bright green versus a nice kind of dark ranger green. And uh, hopefully I'll take, uh, I'll take a picture indoors, maybe make a video indoors and, and show you guys. It might show better. One thing to note is that the the back of the of the uh, Molly 2 waist belt didn't take much of the dye. I mean, it's still green, but uh, just this section is a little bit lighter than everything else. Again, it doesn't really show much on camera. But what can I say, guys? I am actually really excited about this project. Really happy with the end results. It just looks really nice. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you guys at some point. I'll take a picture indoors and, uh, you know, when it's fully set up.
All I really need to do now is get the snow collar for it sewn in place and that will pretty much be the it, uh, the end of it. You know, just after that I'll uh, proceed to set it up. So what can I say guys? Thanks for watching. And uh, did I m mention uh, just a quick thing on the uh, on the dyeing process? It really only took maybe less than 15 minutes. You know, the first 15 seconds were crucial, <laughs> and uh, the first few seconds. And uh, then the key really is stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. You know, you you can't just leave it in there because when I took it out, there was one spot just down here somewhere where it didn't really take the dye, just a minor little spot and so I had to dye it, you know, again I had to keep it in, you know, soak it in just a little bit more maybe there it is just ever so slightly but other than that it took the dye really really well and uh, yeah, you know, pretty uniform throughout the suspension system and uh, the pack so what else can I say guys, thanks for watching and I'll keep you updated on this project. So uh, see you on the next one.